there are some quadratic equation and we are going to prove the quadratic formula and later we saw some example on the quadratic formula so they can give you an e a question or equation you know, ask you to use the almighty formula the quadratic formula to solve it or they can ask you that they want this expression in a set form you can use the quadratic formula to solve that one so we are going to do the computing of square procedure to prove the quadratic formula so for computing of square which we did it uh, just now we said that the constant term you move it across or the equal sign right or you subtract it both sides so it's our constant term so we move it across the equal sign then what should we do again we said we always with computing on square we always want the coefficient of s squared to be one so we divide through by a so if we divide through by a or both sides by a you will get this so this the a will go because it will cancel okay so we get b out of a s minus c out of a right and what should we do here he said the coefficient of s that's the s term b out of a you will take half of it we square it and then we will add to both sides so half of this so we multiply it by half one out of two times b out of a we get b out of 2a then we say we will square the b out of 2a then we will add it to both sides so this i this is it we maintain our s then b out of 2a as maintain it and what we have we said that we say we take half of it then we square it so we see that we have square it then we say we add to both sides so we have added here and after we add it here okay so this is what i was saying right now let's simplify this one so we are simplifying only this this one this is so the square here is affecting everything here that's why we got b square out of 4 a square because the square is affecting here so 2 square is 4 then the a square right now let's compute the square here you see that there's s square here and there's a square here so we take the s and the b out of 2a then we add it because here is positive right it's positive if negative then we subtract it so we take the s and the b out of 2a we add it and square them that's we are computing the squares so s plus b out of 2a then we square it if we simplify that one you get this expression back then here too what should we do we find the lcm which we have been doing in the primary school uh, 1 out of 2 plus 2 out of 6 what the lcm here is 6 and the procedure continues so we take the lcm here so we are computing the squares so we say we take this s and the b out of 2a then we square them that's what we said then we say we find the lcm of the lcm of this what 4a square is 4a square okay the lcm of 4a square and a is 4a square so 4a square goes 4a square divided by 4a square is what one then one times b square that's why we got the b square here then 4a squared divided by a we still we will get 4a because one of the a will cancel we get 4a so 4a we use the 4a to multiply the negative c here that's why we got negative 4ac right that's what this one lcm we have done it before now we will take the square root of both sides okay so if take the square of both sides so i said the square root is half so if we take the square root of this half times this it will be one so square root of both sides I have to take the square root of both sides. This is what we get, right? So the square root of four a square, we get two a. Why? Because square root, square root of four is what two. Square root of a square is what a. That's why we got two a. Are you okay, right? And then and say square square root of something is plus or minus. So that's why we have plus or minus here. You want to find s. So let's make s the subject. To make s the subject, you have to what? Subtract this from both sides or so let's see 
So if we make add the subject, we subtract it from both sides or move this one across the equal sign. That's why you have negative b out of 2a plus or minus root of b squared minus 4ac. You couldn't take the square root of this, so that's it, right? Now, we have 2a here, 2a here, so they are common. They are common, so which means our s is this, negative b plus or minus root of b squared minus 4ac out of 2a. So we have proved our quadratic formula, and this is our quadratic formula. So if they ask you to solve questions, use the quadratic formula, you just code the formula, then you just continue from there. So let's solve some example. Let's solve some example. Using the quadratic formula to solve the equation. So this is our equation. So we are going to use the quadratic formula to solve this equation. And they can ask you to solve this equation and leave your answer in a set form. What should you do? It means that you are going to use the quadratic formula, right? You know, as you do the quadratic formula, you say you leave your answer in a set form. So you have to be wise here to use the quadratic formula. So we just code the quadratic formula. Then, so this one is a quadratic equation. So this, this is our A, B, C, because we know the quadratic form A, S squared plus B, S plus C equals zero. So this one is our A, this one is our B, and this one is our C, right? So we then substitute the figures into the formula. And what's our formula? The one we prove it. So we just code your formula if you know it, right? So let's just do our substitution here. So if we do our substitution here, we know that our B is negative 6, then then substitute inside as easy as that. So let's solve it. This is what you get, right? If you if you uh, this one 36 minus uh, four times two minus six, this is what you get, right? Then let's find our s. This one of answer for the s because we say it's a quadratic, so our answer is supposed to be two. So he said it's plus or minus, right? This one of our answer. So our s one is all three plus root of fifteen. Why three? Yeah. Because this 4 is dividing all. So if you come here, 6 goes here, uh, 2 goes here, 3, 2 goes here, 2. 2 goes here, 1, 2 goes here, 2. That's why we have 3 plus 15 out of 2. Right? Said. Then our S2 is this. So that's how we solve for quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. Subscribe to Snapple's my YouTube channel for more videos. Bye bye.